This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Conjunction Junction, what's your function? From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Way Through Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. For anyone in our generation... Well, and younger. Yeah, I suppose. Because they've been replayed. School education was enhanced by a strange interstitial shown between Saturday morning cartoons Mm -hmm. known as Schoolhouse Rock. Yes. And it started at, not surprisingly, an ad agency. Mm -hmm. In the early 1970s, David McCall noticed his son could not remember multiplication tables easily, but knew Rolling Stones lyrics by heart. So he brought in musicians who wrote the first song, Three is a Magic Number, and a kid's record was produced. Mm -hmm. Tom Yohe, also at the agency, created some doodles based on the song. There were plans to create educational materials directly for schools, but that fell through. Mm -hmm. So McCall pitched it to a young Michael Eisner, later to run Disney, who was, at the time, VP of Children's Programming at ABC. The result was the three-minute shorts we all remember, starting in 1973 and produced through 1979. Interestingly enough, they were originally called Scholastic Rock. Oh, I I did read that. But they had to change it, obviously, because of Scholastic Publishing. Said, you can't use that name. Yes. Now, there were four different sets of the original uh, interstitials. Mm -hmm. Multiplication Rock, 11 episodes. Grammar Rock, 7 America Rock, 10, and Science Rock, 9. Mm-hmm. A second series was created in the mid-90s. Yep. Two more for Grammar Rock, two called America Rock, and eight called Money Rock. I don't remember Money Rock, I don't think. And a third series in 2009 called Earth Rock with 12 episodes. Mm-hmm. Now, that was for home video, because by that point, Saturday morning cartoons were just a memory. Yeah, you know, they're there, but not in the same way they were 20, 30 years ago. So so I thought we'd just go through each one and just our memories of them. Now, Multiplication Rock was never really my favorite ones of the Scholastic Rock. I don't know why. I like math, but... They were my favorite of of the set. (laughs) Starting with... My Hero Zero, very catchy song. I I always remember it as Zero My Hero, so I must be, I don't know. (laughs) Elementary My Dear, which is about uh, twos, Mm -hmm. Uh, not nearly as as, uh, memorable. Yes. Three is a Magic Number. That's a very plaintive song, almost. Yeah, it's very sweet. Yes. I just, I didn't remember that too much. I went back and listened to it. Man and a woman had a little baby. Yes, they did. They had three in the family. Yeah, and then they go into the multiplication tables, too. Right. So. And some of them, I noticed, really, like, almost immediately go into the multiplication yeah. tables without even setting up a storyline yes. or anything. Yes, no prologue. The Four-Legged Zoo, mm-hmm. another one. Eh. Ready or not, here I come. Is that fives? Yeah. Yeah. I got six, which is has a really great rhythm, I mm-hmm. think. Lucky Seven Samson. I don't that, even remember this I'm, one. I, that's the, and he was lifting dumbbells up? Maybe. I don't think so. No? Huh. Okay. Figure Eight, which I think is a rather haunting song. <laughs> yes. It's about this girl who's thinking about ice skating, and it's yeah. like, ooh, it's really kind of a haunting song. And at one point, she falls into a frozen pond. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Naughty Number no. 9, which mm-hmm. is a really great blues song. The Good Eleven and Little Twelve Toes, which is rather wistful, mm-hmm. I think. And it taught me diff- the idea of having different number bases. Yes, because the person had six fingers on and each hand. hand and, and, yeah. and so they would they would uh, go in, in powers of 12 instead of powers of 10. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it really taught, as I said, it taught me different number bases, which were useful, is very useful in computer programming. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because you do hex uh, code. Mm-hmm. So then we move into Grammar Rock. That's my favorite. <laughs> we start with... Conjunction, junction, what's your function? And that's one of the classics of the Schoolhouse Rock with Jack Sheldon doing the voice. He did... Several of probably the most mm-hmm. memorable ones. Mm-hmm. 
unpack your adjectives. Um, kind of remember that. I really think they should still be showing these in school because kids today don't know what their parts of speech are. <laughs> lolly, well, lolly, lolly, lolly. Get, get your, your adverbs, adverbs here. here. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's interesting in this is there's one singer playing three parts in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then we have Interjections. Interjections. Show excitement, Show excitement or, or emotion. emotion. <laughs> They're usually set apart from the sentence by an exclamation point or by a comma if the feeling's not as strong. And really great animation there, <laughs> I think. Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla, which is about pronouns. Pronouns, yes. Verb, that's what's happening, mm -hmm. which really swings. Yeah. <laughs> And a noun is a person, place, or thing, which is a country song. And that's probably the one that I remember the least. <laughs> Going on to America Rock, mm -hmm. Elbow Room. Which is about manifest destiny. Yeah. That would certainly not be probably appropriate no, you know, subject no. matter today. But Fireworks, The Great American Melting Pot, which is a little preachy, mm -hmm. I think. Probably the best known song of... Schoolhouse Rock, yes. I'm Just a Bill. Probably the best known one ever. It's been satirized. <laughs> I mean, there's been so many things about that. And it is. It's really cute because there's the little Bill sitting there sadly on the steps of Capitol Hill. <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, the Simpsons did a parody of it about amendments, about mm -hmm. amendments to the Constitution. Mother Necessity. About inventors. Right. No More Kings. Which is kind of a pre-Hamilton uh, <laughs> song. Yeah. The preamble. And this is how everybody in our generation knows the preamble to the Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> I bet if you asked them to recite it, they'd have to sing we it. We the people, in, in order, order to form, form a more perfect, perfect union, union, establish justice, justice ensure, ensure domestic, domestic tranquility. tranquility. <laughs> the shot heard round the world. Uh-huh. Suffering till suffrage. Yes, women's suffrage. I yep. don't really remember that one. No. But. And three-ring government, and this was not released for several years after it was made. Right, because the, the, the networks thought people might thinking they, think they were saying that the government was a circus, you know. And ABC was worried that their FCC license would be in danger. Yeah. If they said that. <laughs> this is back when the networks used to worry about things like that. Yeah, and now everybody calls the government a three-ring right. circus. Then we move on to Science Rock. The Body Machine. Uh, I don't remember many of these. Yeah. Do the Circulation. Electricity. Electricity, which really swings, but also repeats a mm -hmm. lot. Electricity. Electricity. No, nothing. The Energy Blues, which is an early energy-saving message. Jack Sheldon also sang on that. Mm -hmm. Interplanet Janet. That's the one of these is, I do remember. Which yes. is really catchy. Telegraph Line. Them not so dry bones and a victim of gravity. Mm. Yeah, some of that. Yeah. I don't remember many of those. So. Now Disney bought Schoolhouse Rock in the '90s, and there are several VHS and DVD releases. And apparently, the first time it came out, yeah. they did the they did it with like some intros with Cloris Leachman and some kids, and um, one of the writers, the um, Yohi, yeah, said that. Cloris Leachman was totally hideous and just completely against what they wanted with these things. I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, of course, they're mostly available on YouTube. Mm -hmm. There's also Schoolhouse Rocks, a tribute album by Alt Rockers, mm -hmm. and I have that album. Yep. And Schoolhouse Rock Live, a musical theater version of the show that was made in the in the 90s. And I think that there are still schools who put on Schoolhouse Rock. I wouldn't all, at all be surprised. So, I mean, you know, you'd have lots of good parts mm -hmm. and, you know, little vignette kind of things. I think that would be fine. And as you said, they should still be showing this in schools. Yeah. Kids Every need to learn their multiplication tables. Right. Yeah. And their parts of speech. <laughs> I get so frustrated. <laughs> so you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife Treat Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Looking up words and phrases and clothes.